Welcome to MathLearners.com. In this video, we are going to see how to divide numbers using flag method. Before starting with this video, it is highly recommended that you go through the videos of win column and how to play with questions and reminders as these two concepts of Vedic mathematics are going to be used in this flag method. Let's say suppose we want to divide 1732 by 23. So here dividend is 1732, divisor is 23. And as per the flag method, we need to split this divisor into two parts. Let's say 2 and 3. Such that 2 will be acting as our divisor and 3 will be our flag and we need to split dividend into two parts quotient and reminder such that reminder part will have exactly same number of digit as that of flag as flag is having one digit so divider, uh, reminder will have one digit that is 2 Okay, so the process says that from now onwards 2 will be will be acting as our divisor and we will see about what is flag. So first number is first digit is 1, 1 will be divided by our new divisor that is 2. So when 1 is divided by 2 we get reminder as 0 and sorry quotient as 0 and reminder as 1. So quotient is written under this horizontal line and reminder will be written under 1 7 and in between of them now we follow a series of msds m stands for multiplication s stands for subtraction and d stands for division so we multiply this zero with our flag so when we multiply 0 by 3 it comes as 0 that will be subtracted from combination of 1 and 7 that is 17 so that comes as 17 now this 17 will be divided by our divisor that is 2 so when 17 is divided by 2 we get quotient as 8 and reminder as 1 so we write quotient under horizontal line and one reminder will be written under 7 and 3. Now we do we follow the same process MSD multiplication 8 and 3 will be multiplied so that comes as 24. That will be subtracted from 13. So that comes as minus 11. But if we get anything negative number then we we, we do not need basically we do not need any any negative number after subtraction so what we will have to do we will have to increase this reminder and in one of the video we have seen how to play with quotient and reminders so to increase this reminder we will have to reduce this quotient by one so when quotient is reduced by one that means the div this two will be transferred to the reminder part so that will become new quotient will become 7 and remainder now will become 3 so we will have to cancel this 8 so that will come as 7 and new remainder will be 3 now we can uh, carry the same process MSDs multiplication 7 and 3 is multiplied so that comes as 21 that will be subtracted from 33 so it gives 12 which is a positive number so we calculate this division now so this 12 will be divided by our divisor that is 2 so quotient will be obtained as 6 and remainder will be obtained as 0 so quotient is obtained as 6 and remainder is obtained as 0 <coughs> when we enter the remainder column we, uh, we carry out the same process but 
we do not do division so we just carry out multiplication and subtraction so 6 will be multiplied by 3 that comes as 18 and that will be subtracted from combination of 0 and 2 that is 2 so it comes as negative 16 that is it comes as negative number again we do not want the negative number so we will have to increase this reminder so to increase this reminder we will have to reduce the quotient by 1 so that will be quotient will be obtained as 5 and new reminder will be obtained as 2 so this question will get cancelled as 5 and reminder will be coming as 2 so we do again ms now that is multiplication 5 into 3 gives us 15 that will be subtracted from 22 that comes as 7 and that will be your reminder so quotient is 75 and reminder is 7 that's the answer let's say suppose we have division like 2, 1, 6, 3, 8, 9, divided by 48. So divisor is 48, we split into two parts, divisor and flag. So new divisor will be 4 and flag will be 8. As flag is a one digit, reminder part will have only one digit that is 9 and rest of the digits will be in the question part 2, 1, 6, 3, 8. Okay, so now 4 will be acting as our divisor and 8 is our flag. So first number is 2 that will be divided by 4 so that comes as the question as 0 and reminder as 2. Now we again follow the process of MSD multiplication. So 0 into 8 gives 0. That will be subtracted from 21. That comes as 21. And this 21 will be divided by 4. So quotient will be obtained as 5 and reminder as 1. So quotient is 5 and reminder is 1. Multiplication A times 5. 5 gives us 40 that will be subtracted from 16 that comes as a negative number we do not want negative number so we will have to increase this reminder so directly I will be writing here so in order to increase reminder we will have to decrease the quotient by 1 so it comes as 4 and divisor was 4 so 1 will become 5 now 8 into 4 comes as 32 that will be subtracted from 56 so that comes as 24 which is a positive number that will be divided by 4 that comes as 6 as quotient and 0 as reminder. So 6 will be written here and 0 is written here. Again 4, 8 into 6 gives us 48 that will be subtracted from 3 which again comes as negative number. So we will have to reduce this quotient by 1 so it comes as 5. And this divisor will be incre uh, this reminder will be increased so 4 will be added to 0 that comes as 4. 8 into 5 gives us 40 that will be subtracted from 43 that comes as 3 which is a positive number that will be divided by 4 so the quotient will be obtained as 0 and reminder will be obtained as 3. So quotient here and reminder so quotient here okay. So again MSDs, so 8 into 0 gives us 0 that will be subtracted from 38 that comes as 38 that will be divided by 4. So when 38 is divided by 4 we get uh, quotient as 9 and reminder as 2. So quotient is written here and reminder is 2. Again we, we have entered into the reminder column so we, so we just do multiplication and subtraction so 8 into 9 will give 72 ok I am writing here 72 will be subtracted from 29 which comes as a negative number we do not want a negative number so we will have to decrease the quotient by 1 and increase the divisor by 4 so that will come as 6 so multiplication of 8 and 8 gives us 64 that will be subtracted from 
69 so that will come as 5 which is a positive so that will be written as 5 so the quotient is 4 5 0 8 and remainder obtained is 5 so that's the answer let's say suppose now we want to divide 5 7 8 2 3 7 8 by 2 3 2 so divisor here means we are having is a three digit number so we need to split divisor into two parts divisor and flag so either it is possible to take divisor as 23 so we can take new divisor as 23 and flag as 2 but if we take divisor as 23 then every time we have to divide by 23 so for that table of 23 will be required to be known or what we can do we can consider this 2 as our divisor and we can consider this 3 2 as our flag so let's solve this using uh, by considering 2 as our flag Oh, sorry by considering 2 as our divisor and 32 as our flag so dividend will be split into two parts quotient and reminder such that reminder will have exactly same number of digit as that of flag flag as having two digits so reminder will have 78 present in the question part so the initial step remains same 5 will be divided by 2 question comes as 2 and reminder as 1 we carry out the same process msd multiplication since we are having only one digit so we will multiply this 2 with the first digit of the flag so 2 into 3 gives us 6 that will be subtracted from 17 that comes as 11 and that will be divided by our 2 so that comes as quotient as 5 and reminder as 1 so 5 is our quotient and reminder is 1 now the process of multiplication this m changes because we are having two digit flag so from now onwards what we will be doing we will be taking the cross multiplication of the latest two quotient digits so in this case as we have only two digits in the quotient 3 will be multiplied by 5 and 2 will be multiplied by 2 and their addition will be done so 15 plus 4 gives us 19 that will be subtracted from this 18 which comes as negative again we do not want a negative digit so we will have to reduce the quotient by 1 and remainder will be increased by 2 that will come as 3 again we take cross multiplication 2 multiplied by 2 3 multiplied by 4 that gives us 16 that will be subtracted from 38 so that comes as 22 and this 22 will be divided by our new divisor that is 2 that is 11 and remainder will be obtained as 0 now again we obtain 11 as a quotient so we cannot write 11 2 digit number in the quotient part so what we will have to do, we will have to make it make the quotient as one digit. So the nearest one digit quotient is 9. In order to make quotient as 9, we will have to transfer two twos to the remainder side. So remainder will become 4. So now the quotient is 9 and 4 is our remainder. Again multiplication. 3 is multiplied by 9 and 2 is multiplied by 4 so 27 plus 8 gives us 35 that will be subtracted from 42 that gives us 7 this 7 will be divided by 2 
so question is 3 and remainder is 1 so question is 3 and remainder is 1 again multiplication 3 is multiplied by 3 2 is multiplied by 9 18 plus 9 gives us 27 that will be subtracted from 13 so it comes as a negative we do not want negative so we will have to reduce the quotient by 1 and increase the divisor uh, increase the remainder by 2 so that will come as 3 so multiplication cross multiplication will give 18 plus 6 that is 24 so will be subtracted from 33 that comes as 9 and that will be divided by 2 so the quotient obtained is 4 and remainder as 1 so quotient is 4 remainder is 1 now we have entered into the remainder part we carry out only multiplication and subtraction but since we are having two digit flag the process changes a little bit like the multiplication part will be 10 multiplied by the let's say suppose we consider this flag as a b and the last two digits of the quotient as c d so the multiplication part will be 10 multiplied by the cross multiplication of flag and the last two digits so that will be a d plus b c to this we will be adding the multiplication of last two digits that is b d this will this everything will be combined as a multiplication so we will obtain this as cross multiplication of this gives 3 multiplied by 4 12 2 plus uh, 2 into 2 gives 4 4 plus 12 gives us 16 so 16 is multiplied by 10 so that comes as 160 plus 2 into 4 gives us 8 that is 168 this forms multiplication so 168 will be subtracted from 178 complete part so that comes as 10 which is a positive digit so we write 10 as here so the quotient of 10 is 24924 and remainder as 10 so that's the answer you will find more examples using this flag method or the direct method in my on my website www.mathlearners.com if you have any queries please feel free to ask them thank you for watching this video